All right, so this is the quick and easy version of how to take apart the Xeno Pro. Uh, it's almost identical for the original Xeno, so I'm just going to do it for the Xeno Pro. Uh, and if you want to do it for your Xeno, it's almost exactly the same thing. So very first thing you want to do, take off this cover. I use a little pry tool. Just go around carefully. Take that off. Remove two screws and this button. Flip it over, take the gimbal cover off, and then you're going to remove three screws to take the gimbal guard in the back and the front off. Be careful doing this, if you press down on the quad you can damage your arms so you might want to put something under there so if your screws are very tight you put your fingers under there like this loosen the screws I try to keep my screws in it so they're in it when I put it back this way I keep the screws in there Remove the front one. Once I feel it come out, I turn it in a little bit so the screw stays. That way the screw stays in place and it's there for when you put it back. So now that's all removed. Now we're going to remove these two screws. Again, hold underneath so you're not putting too much force pushing down on, on the quad. And sometimes these screws just stay in there and they might fall out when you flip the quad over. Sometimes they just stay, but like neither one of them came out. This is magnetized and they still did not come out, but no big deal. Give it a little tap one fell out the other one's still in there so now we have screws in here to remove this you want to be careful so you can reuse these these are stick on I use a little knife here get that off like that and then stick them somewhere where you can reuse them stick them on your cover wherever you want and then you have this little stick on pill flying around right there and then the same thing on this side here get under there remove it stick it there Okay, two screws, remove those, wrong screwdriver, too big, this one, there we go, remove these white pieces as well. Gently take your cover to the side and you'll have a plug here and a plug here. You're going to remove this plug and that plug. Get a little glue in there, 
So you want to be careful. And then the glue just comes apart. Set that aside. Here's where you want to be extremely careful is this part right here. I do not unplug this from the board. You just increase your, your chance, your risk of damaging this cable. And these connectors come off the boards very easily. Once they come off the boards, you're in trouble. So what I do is so go ahead and loosen these screws up. They usually stay in place once they're all the way loose. But then I just pull them, pull it up to the side. Be very careful with that cable. Okay, see it? And then I take this cover off. This is one cover, that's another cover, and then this cover. I try to get it to where I take all three off. These two snap on, so they should come with the tape. This one sta usually stays on very firm and will not come off. Sometimes it will. It's no big deal if it comes off. So we lift up, tilt to the side, just wiggle it a little bit, and it comes off. There we go. Now we put this back here on the board. Put this aside. And reattach the screws. Don't have to tighten them all the way, just, just so that the barometer does not fall out. See, it's still kind of loose, but it's not going to fall out. So now we have this right here. Take that off. And you see our uh, two cables. This cable here is for the gimbal motors. This cable here is your image cable. And then this bracket comes loose, and that takes you to your fan and your... Um, Amplifier for your lease transmission, at least that's what I call it, the amplifier. And then we have our cable here and our cable here. So you want to remove these cables. I usually undo this cable and then undo this cable like that. It's much easier to put this cable back in than it is that end. So. I just undo that one. So we undo that. Now we want to undo our plugs here. Like that. Fold them back. Like that. Fold it back like that. And then we have this little bracket. For that, just loosen one side. And then remove the screw on the other side and that way you don't have to take that bracket off. And you're not fumbling around with it. So I just move the bracket aside like that. And then I just lightly tighten that screw back down. So now that bracket is, it's not flopping around and it's out of my way. And then we can unplug this right here. So now that's unplugged. So we have that unplugged, that unplugged, this one's unplugged. We unplug from the board right here. And then we unplug from the power button board right here. Now you have two screws in the front two screws in the back to replace. This one's already missing. I've had this quad apart before and I just put it back together real quick for this video. So I have it over here. So remove those screws. We'll pretend to remove one here. There. 
So now you may lift this. Make sure you do not have an SD card in the side. If you do, take it out. So now you can just lift this out of the way. You want to be careful right here. That's going to pull through. Push it through the hole. And there's your board. So you removed your board, put that aside. So now, just to show you, the next video for this will be how to install legs, but I just want to show you this right here. This is your fan, and then there's a board here. You got to be very careful because you can easily pull these wires out of the fan. So you want to make sure you unplug this first. Unplug that. And then this board takes a little bit of work to get out. It's just sitting in some grooves. It just slides in. So I usually first try just kind of wiggling it a little bit. And it does not come out, then I use a tool. But let's push our wires aside because they'll hold it kind of snug. Sometimes they're wedged in. In, in the way. Okay, they're all out of the way now. It should be a little easier to get out. It's not coming out easily. So that is when I go and use something like this. Now you want to make make sure you're grabbing a portion of the board that has no electronics on it. So the corner of the board here is where I can grab. So I'm simply going to put this on there. Wiggle it around and it's coming out now. Watch out for these wires. And here's where your antennas are hooked up. Now my first video about this quad, or about taking this apart, um, I wasn't sure where the antennas were. And I thought this was just a board for uh, detecting the thermal activity and activating the, van, the fan. Very first firmware versions on this, the fan did not kick on until it reached a certain temperature. So I think that there is maybe some sort of thermal uh, circuit in here that detects the temperature. I'm not sure. And there's also uh, something right here, and it does. It's it's not titled, or labeled, or marked, or printed, whatever you want to call it. So I don't know what that what goes there, but nothing is connected to that. You want to be very careful with your ribbon cables. You have another bracket right here if you need to replace that ribbon cable. So that's what that is and then your fan I'm not going to pull that fan out because it's got a sticky tape and once you pull it uh, that sticky tape usually doesn't doesn't uh, last um, it's got a metal bracket that it snaps into and that metal bracket is uh, held with sticky tape but it's pretty hard to get it out of that little bracket and there's really no need to go pull that out right now so if you look down inside there's some slots you probably can't see. I'll try to point them out to you here. You can see the fan a little bit there. But there's a slot on the sides here. Very hard to see with it all being black. But if you have yours apart, you'll see those, that slot. You want to make sure that the board goes back into that slot on both sides. That way you are not pressed into the fan. I'm not in it. It's a lot easier to do this when I don't have to worry about trying to keep it in camera view. Okay. I think we're in the slot. No, we're not. There we go. Got it. So you have a slot here and then you have a half slot here. So. At first it might not feel like you're in, but you are in. So removing that and putting it back 
the only time you'll really be doing that is if you're replacing legs and you need to unplug the antenna cables. So now we can plug this back in. Do not forget to do that because then you'll have to take everything apart again just to plug that back in when you turn your quad on and realize, hey, I don't have a fan. And I say that because I've done it. So that is how you take apart the Hubson Zeno Pro. And now let's go ahead and pop out the camera. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to save that. We're going to save that for my video on replacing the image cable. So um, this video will get you to the point of uh, taking apart, the, the uh, re removing the gimbal. You don't have to pull the board out for that. You can leave the board in. Only thing you have to do is get to this point where the board is all mounted and then unplug these and nothing else. You do need to get to this point in order to replace legs. So one of my next videos will be replacing legs. And another video to come is removing uh, the gimbal and replacing the image cable. I already have one on how to replace the gimbal cable. So uh, thank you for watching. That's pretty much it. Very, very simple. Throw that thumbs up. Again, subscribe and uh, hit that bell for future notification and uh, we'll catch you on the next video thank you very much for watching